Shelter Mortgage, flexibility, professionalism, and service. Let us custom build a mortgage for you. Hello, Prudential Sales Executives for our video message of the week. All right, our goal is to start 2013 on a major high. So how are we gonna do this? Well, this week's message is entitled, Clean the Clutter. That's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna clean the clutter. Now, how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna focus on work, home, and our heads, all right? Let's talk about this. I got a couple items for you. First of all, work. I want you to take the time. Look, as we move to the very, very end of this year, what a perfect time to steal a day away and organize your area. You know, this is the thing that we talk about that we've wanted to do and we really got to make the time to do it. Guess what? All right, this is the perfect time. Steal a day out and organize your area. Next, I want you to stop doing what doesn't work. Look, what a great opportunity to look back at 2012 and say, all right, you know, there are a few things that I spent time on, in some cases, a lot of time on, and you know what? It just wasn't productive for me. I want you to really think about that intentionally and say, you know what? I'm gonna stop doing that. And I want you to know you're gonna stop doing that right up front, so think about that. And last from this is I want you to book all your after New Year appointments now. What a great opportunity for this as well. Think about that. All right, you're into the holidays, you're enjoying the holidays, but you know right after the New Year's, you're already booked, okay, through that whole after New Year's to really get 2013 started off with a bang. Okay, and I, I, I gotta tell you, that'll make you feel real good. You'll know, oh my God, you know what? New Year starts, I'm ramping right up. Now, we not only have to worry about work, we gotta worry about home. So what do we have to do? Well, we've got to organize your areas at home. There are areas in your house right now that ultimately slow you down and hold you back. I want you to take the time there too. It might even be your clothes closet. It might be where you work on your computer stuff. It might be that kitchen area that, you know what, oh my God, so many things get lost right there because it just gets tossed there. Take the time, organize it. Get all that stuff out of your way to start the new year great. Next, review your priorities. This is so important, specifically when we're talking about home. I mean, work of course has its priorities, but family and home have their priorities too. Forget about what you didn't do in 2012, all right? Look at what you want to accomplish and look at what's important to you. And if it's time with family around a busy business, that's great. Lock it down and really say, this is gonna be my priority and I'm gonna to stick to it in the new year. Last but certainly not least, I want you to move, remove distractions. Now, if you just started thinking about a family member, that's not what I mean. Okay, that's not removing a distraction, okay? That's not on the table. What is on the table is anything around within your house that slows you down, all right? That stops you from being productive. I want you, this is separate from not only organizing, but just get things out of the way. It may be really redoing a room, something that you've been wanting to do. Get set, come on, get set and ready to ramp up for that next year, and certainly, Last but not least is getting our head in the game for 2013. Well, just like we organize our work in our home, we've got to organize our thoughts. And this is so important. We talk about being intentional, all right? We talk about knowing what we're doing. Well, organizing your thoughts is really important. One of the main areas is I want you to get crystal clear on what you want to accomplish in 2013. I want you knowing it. I don't want you thinking I've got to do good. I want you knowing specifically, you know what? Not only the dollars, not only the production you want to do, but why you're doing it. I want you clear on what you're trying to accomplish in this new year so you can get excited about it. You know that all the efforts are putting in for you, give you an example, is that trip to Europe that you're taking towards the end of the year. And guess what? Money is no object because you are dialed in to what you have to accomplish and you've laid the proper groundwork. 
And certainly, last but not least, I want you to pick three things you will start doing to help ensure you stay in a positive, productive, and a mindset of appreciation. This is so, so important. Remember, whose job is it when we have all the noise hitting around us? Whose job is it to make sure we're getting the good stuff and staying focused on the good stuff? It's our job. And I want you to think of three ways. Maybe it's going to be, you know, you've talked about it, but you've never stop, started listening to tapes in the car when you drive, positive tapes, maybe in lieu of some music. Maybe it's reading some key books, okay? Maybe it's doing your affirmations, whatever it is for you, okay, to stay in that positive, productive, and mindset of appreciation. You know, there's a lot of crazy things that are happening in our world lately and some real, real terrible tragedies that people are dealing with, like what happened in Connecticut. And I want, you to, I want you to stay in that mindset of appreciation. We're so fortunate, okay? All of us are so fortunate. And the more we do that, you know what? The more free we are to do all these positive and exciting things because we know how fortunate and lucky we are. I want you to make sure, okay, as we go into the holidays and we really take the time to enjoy our families, Turn it off, relax, really enjoy family, friends, spend the time, have fun. And 2012 was an incredible, incredible year. Let's make 2013 even better. This will be my last 2012 message, and I'll be back on the air with you in 2013. Okay? See everybody soon. Take care. Bye-bye.